What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Nev Campbell and the future of Scream. So this was a pretty interesting video clip that I saw yesterday. This actually comes from Tristan over on Twitter. He posted it out, uh, and I believe this came. This was extra. They did the uh, interview with the three of them, and I'm going to play the clip. I'm going to play the clip, but basically, Nev was asked, you know, would you come back for more? Will there be more? And here's what she said. Uh, I, I think there will be more for sure. Um, but we can't answer whether we would do more because then that would give the answer to the audience about whether ah, we survive enough. this one or not. So a couple things I think you can you can get from that, right? Number one, her confidence is off the charts. And I hear her confidence is off the charts in the movie as well as Sydney Prescott. So uh, it seems like she's staying in character. No, uh, you know, she's very confident. And I love that. I love that. Um, Here's one thing I will say, though, just to kind of, I guess, uh, for me, get the elephant out of the room or in my out of my mind. You know, I'm not saying, like, just make these movies just to make them. You know what I mean? I, I uh, would, of course, do I want more of them? Yeah. Will I will I ever say no to, like, seeing Sydney in a Scream movie or, you know, seeing more of them? No, not necessarily. But that's just because maybe it's a biasness. In fact, it is a biasness. But, you know, I don't want these movies to be made just because you can make them, right? There needs to be a reason. There needs to be, uh, you know, there. I it just it, it needs to happen because of whatever, and it needs to be like valid. And uh, and granted, I haven't seen this movie yet, right? Scream Five, so I can't say for sure. And you know, I, we've heard kind of conflicting things of people saying they actually should end the movie or they leave it open to end the movie or whatever, uh, based off of reviews and early impressions. You know, we'll obviously know more tonight, tomorrow, Friday, whenever you guys uh, see the movie. We'll talk about it too. I'll make a video specifically on the future of Scream. So I want to just make that clear. You know what I mean? No matter what happens, I, I just want the next one, if there is a next one, like, of course I want it. I definitely want it. But I think it needs to feel right that we're getting it. With that being said, though, a couple of things that I even tweeted, I tweeted, uh, you know, based off of this tweet, I said, Nev Campbell says they'll, or thinks there'll be more Scream movies. She sounds very confident and she can't say if they'll be back. So it seems like a yes if they survive. So that's, you know, in a nutshell, it's my Twitter version of what I thought. I think there'll be more for sure is what she says. And she's, again, I don't know how many times I have to use the word confident, probably at least a couple more, uh, but that's what she sounds like. You know what I mean? So I, I would imagine for somebody who has uh, not necessarily like power or influence, but like she, you know, has been Scream. Scream would not be the same or would not even exist without her, right? Like what I'm, I guess I'm basically trying to say is I think she probably has the inside scoop on a lot of things regarding this franchise, rightly so. You know what I mean? I would not be surprised if, I think we heard a lot of the cast of this movie, they were just going page to page, much like a lot of the other Scream movies. They didn't know who Ghostface was until the end, yada, yada. And I would imagine, in fact, Nev's even said it before, like in the past, she's been one of the only people to ever get the full script or know the full picture of what's going on in these movies i would not be shocked at all if that comes out here where it's like okay here's the killers right everybody sees the movie spoilers are okay here's the killers and then nev campbell says in an interview like yeah i knew that going in like that was just a thing they told me like i would not be you know what i mean she just has that she deserves that she's earned that she deserves it all of that stuff so I would not be shocked at all if she's also deserved an answer of what's to come. You know what I mean? Now, to me, the most in – you like, okay, will she say live on air or what? I mean, it's obviously not live. Like, it's pre-recorded. But would she say in an interview that that part was not, like, cut? Like, it wasn't like they took some words here and they took some words there and they combined them. Like, it was all one direct thing that she was talking about. Would she say out loud – yeah, you know, there could be more, but, like, I'm not doing it. Like, I'm out. Or, you know, like, would she say that out loud? Probably not. At best, you would get that in an article. At best, you would get it in a, in a year or two when, like, we're talking about the next Scream, and then she comes out and says, I don't know if I'm going to be in it or I'm not going to be in it. Like, that's when we would hear it. But the way she goes about it makes me pretty confident that she would come back, or maybe she is coming back. Now, again, okay, I haven't seen the movie my prediction has always been they will close the door enough where if this was the last movie and if this ended things it would be it would work and it would be fine but the door would always be open for the survivors to come back and as you know my prediction has always been Dewey dies Gale and Sydney lives okay that's just my prediction I'm not saying that's what happens I don't know what happens so for me I would imagine they close the book on them on Gale and Sydney in the way that they say, hey, you know, like we did our job, like we're leaving now, 
But, you know, if, if we ever need to come back or whatever, like we will or we can or that's what I've thought for a long time, uh, how they can handle these characters. I think that makes the most sense because then you can have them back if you need them, even from like a marketing perspective, right? Or if you think it can enhance the story, you'd have them, but you don't need to use them if they don't want to come back. If the franchise ended, right? You're not stuck with these characters like in a limbo phase in this fictional universe, right? So that's how I've always thought to me. The way she says it, you know, yeah, I, I guess it's kind of like answering, I guess how I'm viewing it is because she wasn't like massively negative on it, that she would do it. But I don't know, just the way she kind of presents it, she's like, I think, the, you know, she firmly believes there'll be more. And it's like, okay, that's immediately a good sign because they probably told her like, you know, as long as this movie doesn't absolutely bomb, we're going to do more. So why would you tell her that? That's actually my main thing. Like, Maybe she's earned the right to know whether she's going to be in it or not. You know, whether she, like if she decides to do it. But why would you tell her if you didn't have a plan to bring her back as well? Does that make sense? And maybe that's the wrong way. Of, and, you know, it could be. I mean, that's a subjective point of view. You guys could think about it differently. But to me, I don't know. If she was done with the franchise, if she went in and said, this is it. This is my last movie. There's no way I'm coming back for future ones. Would they tell her? Because I firmly believe they told her. Like, there'll be more. Unless she just really believes that herself. And, like, nobody told her that. But I don't know. I don't know. The way she answered it. And, of course, having to give a non-answer. And, like, well, I can't tell you if we're going to be back. Because we could die here or we could not die here. But I don't know. I feel like we're at the point where, like, nobody expects Sydney to die. I guess it would be a spoiler to say that out loud, though. Right? If the main, if the actress says it, that's different than me just, like, saying I feel like there's a consensus out there that she's not going to die. But, I don't know. The, you could have done it differently. You could have just said, I don't know. You know, this could be this could be it for Sydney. This could be it for me. But she wasn't like that. So, my prediction right now, without seeing the movie, and I don't really think it'll honestly change when I do see the movie, is as long as they ask her back and as long as she wants to come back, she's in. She's in for the next one. That's the that's the sense. I, now, that's off of a 15 second, you know, or 11 second clip, whatever. That's a very short clip to make that judgment call on. So I get it. I'm not, you know, this is not like a TMZ or anything like that. Like I'm not, I, I'm not doing like clickbait speculation. I'm not trying to, right? It's just how I feel based off the entire situation and based off how I felt for a couple years about this movie and, and Sydney's future and Nev Campbell's future. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure as always you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow me anywhere else, I have a Twitter. I have a second YouTube channel. I also have Patreon and YouTube memberships. Links for them all are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.